So, as a continuation, last quarter of our lesson. So, diba, we have started the lesson of the thermochemistry and now we will continue. So, last time we discussed about the what is thermochemistry and also we we also tackled about the work and also heat and also na ano din natin yung formula that we're going to use if it is work or it is heat and also the definition between the exothermic and the endothermic so wherein we determine if the energy is released or absorbed by the product or by the uh, substance so that's the reason why we're not going if we're going to use a positive sign and a negative sign so today we were going to discuss or we're going to are going you to give an example about how we are going to solve for the standard ethyl fee of reaction so this is the formula that we are going to use the standard ethyl fee of reaction is equals to the summation of a products minus the summation of the reactants so diba, we are already familiar naman with the stoichiometry where we use uh where we use the the ano uh, the we use the balance equation so diba as we all know that a balance equation is reactant equals or yields to the product so ganun pa rin yung process niya so we're going to use pa rin the balancing equation of a compound or a particular compound and by doing the ethylp of reaction ato lang silang i baliktad wherein mauna ang products before the reactant so just like this example number one consider the combustion of ethanol so the ethanol has a C2H5OH to produce carbon dioxide and water so which means an ethanol that with the presence of oxygen which is a gas yields or produce a product which is the carbon dioxide and the water so always remember that every compound na asya determining if it is liquid solid or gas kaya dito po naka uh, determine ang value sa isa ka compound it doesn't mean that i water nakabutang na water for example water mao ato ang reactants water tapos yields to h plus o so always ni na ay uh, karugtong na it's either liquid or solid or gas pati ang iyahang reactants it's either liquid solid or gas so always look talaga always sa ato ang mga determinants kasi dira ni mo mabalan ang value per compound nga present sa isa ka uh, stoichiometry or resolution and then nganong importante ng solid liquid and gas kay ilang value dira nakasalalay because each uh, value of a compound is constant you cannot change it so which means na it's already ano na siya uh, kumbaga na anay a uh, value ang per compound i determine na lang nimo kung solid ba siya liquid or gas kay there is a tendency man god na water is liquid so na tendency na yung value is either zero or unsa ba gid yang exact value so that's the reason why solid liquid and gas is very important to determine kung unsa ang state sa isa ka compound so as what i have said kanina the example Consider the combustion of ethanol. So, to produce carbon and carbon dioxide and water. So, first, we are going to write the skeletal equation of the solution. This example, the number one example. So, our first compound is it is an ethanol. So, which yields to carbon dioxide. This is our carbon dioxide plus water. So, as you can see, each compound has its own corresponding state so our ethanol is liquid our oxygen gas is gas our oxygen is gas our carbon dioxide is gas and our water is also gas 
So, that states matters talaga kayo because without the state of each compound, you will never you will never determine the value mang god of each. So, okay, let's start. So, before that, diba sa atong balancing, we need to check or you need talaga always to check if the compound is already balanced. So, first, we're going to check so, ethanol. So, itanaw na to kung kompleto ba siya, balance ba siya, or basing na ay mga pagkukulang. So, as you can see, diba diri ang ato ang reactants kay 3 ang oxygen. Then, pag abot na to dito is 3 pa din. So, it is equal. So, how about our hydrogen? So, as you can see, our hydrogen for um, our reactants, it is 5 plus 1. So, it is 6. But our products is only 2, which means from that palang dili na, dili na gid balance. So, we're going, kabalo naman tada ano, paano mag-start of balancing equation. So, mag-start kita always sa 2. 2 ginato always gamiton. So, that, uh, kay mao na siya pinakalis para the laser na, na, laser na number na atong makuha. Mao pa na atong gamitan the value in order to solve the other compound. So, let's try. So, since ang hydrogen man ang dili balance. So, since this is 6. Uh, this is 5. I mean, so 5 plus 1, 6 di ay. So, we'll write 3 as our coefficient. So, our hydrogen is already balanced. But, our oxygen is na labtan. So, reactants at has 3 oxygen. Well, here, we have 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So, next, we need to balance our oxygen. So, to balance at 1, pwede na ito gamit og 2. So, let us check. So, as you can see, carbon 2. And here, we also have 2 carbons. It is balanced. So, 2 times 2, 4. So, as you can see, dili na balance because here, sa atong reactants, 3 lang. Tapos, dili kay 4 plus 1. I 4 plus 3. We have 7 oxygen. So, try na to na mabalance yung ang reactants and then the products. So, try natin here our reactants. Second time, 3. So, 3 plus 2 is 6, which means plus 1, 7. Then, ganina, ang atong product is, ang oxygen na to is 2 times 2, 4, plus 3, so 7. So, our compound or our substance is already balanced. So, pwede na ta mag-continue to solve for our ethyl fee of reaction or standard ethyl fee of reaction. So, kay di ba ka ganina, balik ang ano na ta is, ibaliktad na to ang products o ang reactants. So, which means products minus reactants. So, 2 CO2 gas plus 3 H2O minus C2H5OH. So, this is gas. This is liquid plus 3O2, which is gas. So, we will now write the value of carbon dioxide. So, to write the value of carbon dioxide, which is negative 393.5. So, if you worried na ma'am, asa mo na muna kuhaon ng value nga yung gisa sa carbon dioxide. So, katong last na itong PowerPoint, tiba I already write there the, or akong gitype na daan ang mga corresponding na nila na value. And also, I provided a chart sa psychology para mabalaan niyo ang value sa each Compound. So, kung dili available tanan sa chart nga kung i-provide, you can also Google it. So, Google have and it has an answer. Then, for our water, so 3 multiply 2, negative 241.8. 
So, actually, naan is la unit, which is the kilojoule. So, then, our ethanol is equivalent to <coughs> negative, sorry, negative 277.7. Then, our oxygen is 3. Because our oxygen na gas, the, the value of it is 0. So, that's the reason why nga 3 lang nakabotang dira. Kaya walay value ang ato ang. Anay value but it is 0. So, after that, kung tinagsahon yun natin ni siya class, we're going to multiply 2 times negative 393.5 so which is equivalent to 787 so it is negative plus so ni multiply na po na to on 3 times negative 241.8 so it is negative 7 <coughs> 2 4 725 I mean, 725.4. Then here, so negative 277 plus 3. Negative 277.7 plus 3. Then again, We add negative 787 plus negative 725.4. So, it come up with negative 1514. Negative 1512.4. Minus. So, kanisila negative 277.7. <coughs> Plus 3, so it is equivalent to 274.7. Same one ato na lang na silang i subtract. So, since it is still negative, so i mo i minus na sila. <laughs> negative 1500. 12.4 minus minus 274.7 so it is equivalent to negative 1237.7 kilojoule so this is the end unit of the ethyl fee of reaction So, that is the final answer. But, kung imong tinagsahon, mag-undergan pa ka nga stage, kaning 3 and 4. Pero, during the process, the lang tataman, the 1, 2, and then, then the final answer. So, pero just to make sure lang kung basing, kung mag-come up ko diritsyo ani, after ani, basing matingala mo, where do, asa na ko nakuha ang 1,237 0.7 kilojoule na negative. So, muna siya ang single or paisa-isa na process. So, this is the final answer of an ethanol that produce e carbon dioxide and e water. So, do not forget that in order to get the ethyl fee of reaction, you need talaga to uh, ibalik tal or exchange the products and the reactants. So, for number two example, so we are going to calculate the standard ethyl fee of reaction for the combustion of propane into carbon dioxide and water. So, this is our sample. <laughs> Number 2. So, that is our second example. So, it is the profane that creates 
or form carbon dioxide and water. So that is our solution or that is our substance. So this is our profane with a combination of oxygen yields to. So this arrow, the meaning of this one is yields to. So which means that it produces carbon dioxide and water. So first, as what we have done for our first example, so we are going to balance it first. So just like the rule, we always start with 2, equalize 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on and so forth. So as you can see, our reactants has 2 oxygen while our products has 3 oxygen. It's very easy to ano, identify what are the locking uh, elements in a substance and also our hydrogen. So you can see, a profane contains 8 hydrogen while our products produces or our uh, reactant produces only 2 hydrogen. So we need to balance the hydrogen and the hydrogen of the reactants and hydrogen of the product and also our oxygen so since our hydrogen is eight so we'll write here four so we have eight now and our oxygen we have four so since our oxygen now is four plus two we have six so we need two balance it again balance the oxygen since our hydrogen is already balanced so we have to write so kare siya no kay 4 plus 2 6 so if we put 3 so 6 but our carbon is not also balanced so we'll write 3 here to balance our carbon, so our oxygen becomes 6 plus 4 becomes 10. So here we will just add 10 or write 10 as our coefficient. As you can see, it is already balanced. So our oxygen is already 10, our carbon is already 3, pantai, and our hydrogen is also 8. So we cannot proceed getting the standard at 12 reaction of a combustion of a profane. So, first we need to exchange the given or the substance. So, we have 3O2 plus 4H2O. Don't forget the determinants of each substance. C3H8 gas plus... This is minus na pala, I'm sorry. And 5O2, so which is a gas. So, next, write the value of each compound. So, 3, our carbon dioxide is equivalent to negative 393.5. Kilojoule. So, plus 4. Our water is equivalent to negative 241.8 kilojoule. Subtract to our profane. Profane which is equivalent to 101 which is also negative. 104, I mean 104.0. So this is 104. Then 5. So as you can see, 5 lang siya kasi ang ating oxygen is a gas. So, so, you'll know that the oxygen, kapag gas, it is zero. So, that's the reason why. So, next, you're going to multiply this one, then one, then 
add this one. Then after that, or pwede nyo, you can use also scientific calculator kung gusto nimo. So, as you all know, this is a technology type of life. So, pwede nyo na siya straight og solve or iput ang sa calculator. Then, negative 3 multiply to negative 393.5 plus 4 multiply to negative 241.8 minus or subtract 2, negative 104 plus 5 is equivalent to negative 200, negative 248.7. Kilo joule. So always remember you the end unit because most of the time that is your problem. You always forget the unit when answering because you are so overwhelmed that the questions are very easy. So that is the example for the formation of ethyl phi. So that is how you solve for the formation of ethyl phi. So by next time. We were also going to solve similar way or similar way of calculation but or the balancing equation is still present but we will use a thermochemical equation. So wherein there is an additional additional ano na, uh, substance or additional na mga numbers that we're going to use in order to get the thermochemical equation but this is also ano, a continuation pa rin of our lesson so as what i'm saying for your last topic which is the standard ethyl fee of reaction iba last time we solve for the ethyl phi of the formation or the ethyl phi of reaction. So today, same gihapon, we need to balance kung na ay pakakulangan. And then, <coughs> ang way na nato is to calculate the heat. So, same gihapon ang process or na ay similarity sa process. But in here, we are going na to solve for the heat. So, this one is a thermochemical equation. So, this is the compound or this is the substance that is pre present. So, according to our example, calculate the, he the heat given off. So, which means that the heat is released, uh, re is released when at 31.5 grams of CHR which has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole are converted to carbon dioxide so which means that we're going to calculate the heat nag release sa ato ang CH4 na compound to produce a carbon dioxide so our question our given we have it 31 31.5 grams of CH4 and the CH4 is 16 grams per mole. So, kumbaga, this is the mass of a compound. And this compound has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. So, that is, is molar mass. And, aside from the molar mass of the CH4, it also has a uh, what we call the standard ethyl phi, which is negative 890.4 kilojoule per mole. So, this is the conversion factor of our CH4. So, every time na na ay inani na question, it always yields for our first substance. So, this negative 890.4 kilojoule per mole is for our CH4. So, which is the conversion factor. So, negative 890.4 kilojoule over 1 mole of CH4. 
So later we will use that for some uh, substitution and cancellation. So which means that we're going to solve for the heat that it is evolve or involve. So a heat is equals to 31.5 grams of CH4 multiply to 1 mole of CH4 over 16 grams of CH4. So now, so sa baba na to ang grams para makancel out na to ang ato ang unit. Then, multiply to another again, our conversion factor, which is negative 890.4 kilojoule over 1 mole of CH4. So, the reason of that one is to cancel out the unit. So, cancel na siya. Cancel na siya. Cancel out. Cancel out. So, we have now for our heat or our final answer. So, by that, so 31.5 divided, so multiply to 1, divided to 16, then after that, you multiply it again to negative 890.4 divided to 1. So, the answer is negative 1.75 times 10 raised to three kilo joule so that is our final answer pero kung dili niyo gusto maggamit og scientific notation this one mong god is a symbol of a scientific notation so if you don't want to use that type of answer so pwede pud niyo gamitan a whole number it is still okay for me and it's still acceptable kay da may ibang good na maglibog if they are na or kapag pagamito na ang scientific notation. So, that is the another way or this is the other uh, problem or this is the other equation pag we're going to get the thermochemical or we're going to identify or determining the heat involved. So, it is negative ka diba ano man release by the compound. So, diba we will still use pa rin the endothermic and exothermic type katong if the energy by is released or the heat is released or it is absorbed by is a certain compound so that is the final answer for number three So, for our last example is we're going to determine the amount of heat given off per 65.3 of 65.3 grams of NH3 which has a molar mass of 17 grams per mole that it is used. So, <coughs> if ever asa na ko ang 17 grams per mole you can get the ano, molar mass of this compound to make sure that it is really 17 grams per mole so there are instances mango that the molar mass is not given masing nawala lang ang isa ka unit or nawala lang isa ka given mag dinada ninyo makuha or dinada ninyo masolve so don't you worry because this uh, standard ethyl fee is always a uh, there if you're going to get or you're going to solve for the amount of heat kapag heat ang isaryahan it is always of, uh, in. so that's it so there is some night time sa dila ko i-appeal para ma-refresh pa rin yung mind paano i-solve ang molar mass of the compound so for our given so our given our mass of NH3, we have 65.3 grams. Then the molar mass of our NH3 is 17 grams per mole. And then for our conversion factor,
we have negative 904 kilojoule over pila man ang mole sa NH3. So, before natin malimtan, we need to check if the, the substance is balanced. So, our reactants has 3 hydrogen while our products has 2. So, dira pa lang something wrong na. So, we need to find way to balance the compound. So, since 2 ang hydrogen, 3 2 ang hydrogen sa product, plus 3 ang reactants, we need to balance talaga that one. So, let us try 2 and 3. So, very bunkig ka, you know, we cannot settle you that one. So, why not we use 4, tapos 3 is 6. Para 4 times 3, 12, tapos 6 times 2 is 12. So, balance. And then, ang napektuhan na is our oxygen because our oxygen sa product becomes 7 while our reactance is 2. So, how do we do it? How do we solve this? Hmm. Iman pwede ang 2 times 2, 4, 3. Diga pun pwede. 4. Diga pun pwede kayo 8. So, sobra kong 3, 6, dilip yun pa yung 4. Dig yun pwede. So, why not we use 5? So, 10. Kari dili 6. So, para here, we just add 2 na lang. Kay since here na may 4 na nitrogen, then here 4 na nitrogen. So, balance na siya. Tama ba? So, yes, it is. Kay 4, 4, 4 plus 6, 10. Tapos kani 4, kani 12. Tapos kani 12. So, it is balanced. So, here are conversion factors. So, our NH3 is 4 mole. So, diba? Katong first example na kay 1 mole lang man. Kay diba 1 lang man gito ang naadari. Kay balance naman siya. Balance naman to siya dito. So, dili to siya may love dance. That's the reason why 1 ang nakabutang sa iyang conversion factor. So, for computation, so, 65, so, the heat, right, the one, 65.3 grams, multiply to like the molar mass, 17 grams over 1 mole, cancel out the grams of the NH3, and forget, then, multiply the conversion factor, which is negative 904 kilojoule over 4 mole of NH3. So, cancel out. So, 65.3 divided to 17 multiply to negative 904 divided to 4. So, our final answer is... Dun dun dun. So, our final is negative 868 kilo, I mean, kilojoule. So, that is our final answer negative 868 kilojoules so it is still exothermic kasi from the question pa lang given heat given off man so which means release ang heat sa substance so that is final answer for our example number 4 it is negative 886 kilojoules. So, that's all. Thank you and goodbye.